Hey everyone, a few months ago, I started working on the next stage for my rain barrel project, but due to time, I wasn't able to finish the project as quickly as I wanted, but thankfully, many of you continue to request to see a solar setup added to my system, so even though it's winter now, currently as I'm making this video, it motivated me to go ahead and finish this part of the project. Well, you asked for it? Let's do it. At the time, I forgot to film the process for making the solar panel mount, but the overall concept is fairly simple. I just used a few 2x4 scrap pieces of pressure treated wood, and I used a miter saw to cut roughly a 45 degree angle so once my solar panel was mounted, it would receive a decent amount of direct sunlight. The next step was to take some rough measurements for the mount the solar charge controller would be mounted to above the battery. Next, you can see the basic mount I made off camera out of scrap wood for my solar charge controller to sit on. Since I had the time, I rounded some of the top edges, but that wasn't really required. But as you can see, the design is extremely basic and low cost. So I recommend if you can, use what you have to lower the project expenses. The solar charge controller I ended up using for this project was a ProStar-15. This solar charge controller is a bit overkill price wise for my application, but I already had it on hand and was not really using it. I will leave a link in the description for a cheaper alternative solar charge controller if you are setting up a similar rain barrel system. To attach the solar charge controller to the wooden base, I just used some wood screws. Before I forget, if you really enjoy these videos, be sure to smash that like button because it really helps out this channel and it continues to motivate me to put all this time and energy into making these videos for you guys. Next, I needed to create a positive and negative electrical connection. I ended up using a 12 gauge wire for my application, but depending on your setup, you may need to use a different gauge wire size. To attach my electrical wires to my battery, I crimped some insulated ring terminals on the end of each wire. I added heat shrink tubing to my wires to help secure the terminal connections long term, but the heat shrink tubing is not really required. Next, I connected the wires to the battery terminals using some bolts and nylon lock nuts. Next, it was time to see if everything fit properly in the rain barrel system tote. Next, I needed to work on creating an entry point for the solar wire connection. I decided to use a waterproof cable gland to help keep water from entering the tote. Here's a close up of how the gland looks and how the inner diameter shrinks as you tighten the component. After the hole was drilled, I was able to thread in the cable gland. 
I'll leave a link in the description if you are interested in using a cable gland for your application. Next, I began working on preparing the solar wire connections to connect to my solar controller. Since I was dealing with a fairly small solar panel, I did not take the extra precautions usually necessary while working on electrical power, but if you are new to electrical work, please consult with an electrical professional. To hook up the solar panel to the solar charge controller, I just needed to connect the red or positive wire from the solar panel to the positive solar connection on the solar charge controller and then the black or negative wire from the solar panel to the negative solar connection on the solar charge controller. Next, I checked the indicator lights on the solar charge controller to confirm everything was wired up correctly. The far left solar indicator was illuminating solid green which meant I was receiving solar energy and it was charging my battery. The far right battery status indicators had the red LED illuminated which meant my battery was really really low. Next, since my transfer pump mentioned in the manual that I should install an inline 10 amp fuse on the positive wire to help prevent a fire, I felt I should probably take the time to do so. To do this, I purchased a waterproof 10 amp fuse holder from Amazon that also came with a 10 amp fuse. I then added fully insulated male and female terminal disconnects to each wire for the fuse holder and to the positive wire connection from the transfer pump. Here's a quick diagram of what that looks like in case the video footage is not clear. Next it was time to clean up all the wire connections using some exterior zip ties. Before moving to the final stage, I needed to verify the voltage readings for both the battery and solar panel. To test my solar panel connection, I needed to temporarily disconnect it from the solar charge controller, else the voltage reader would display the reading from the battery. It was a good sign to see that I was receiving about 20.1 volts from the solar panel. Once the voltage check was completed, I wanted to check the indicator status for the battery again. After about 20 or so minutes, I had noticed the battery was now showing a status of yellow, so that was a good indication that the battery was indeed charging properly. One component I forgot to add in the first video for this project was a sediment filter for the water coming out of the rain barrel to help keep my transfer pump running efficiently. Next, it was finally time to test out the solar power rain barrel system. Thankfully, everything worked out as expected. After I was done with this part of the project, that inspiration I have for solar was given more fuel as it always amazes me how we can create a system or device that does not rely on grid power but rather on free energy from the sun. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful, and I do have future plans to create a way to remotely control the transfer pump, so if you are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments. Also, again, if you enjoy these videos, be sure to smash that like button, and so you don't miss out on future videos, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.